Marco Polo wrote of how, as traders walked the ancient Silk Route, in the mysterious lands between where the Chinese Empire had ended and Europe had yet to begin, they would sometimes hear the songs rising from the depths of the Taklamakan Desert. The beautiful sounds lured them off the path and into the dunes. They were never seen again. For me, the Takla McCann sang out from further afield. I'd lived in Hong Kong for six years with my Chinese wife, Christine, a self-confessed China file. I was fascinated with the culture, a place of extremes and its own sort of intensity. It seemed the perfect place to be. It helps to numb the feeling of being rather unsatisfied with who I am. I have the desire to escape, to be alone, to prove myself, worthy to call myself an author, an adventurer. I'd been on other expeditions before, by bicycle and on foot, through some pretty wild places. But now I was 39 years old, so I felt it was time to do one more tough one before I hit middle age. On top of that, after I'd started to make a plan, a preposterous plan as it would turn out, we discovered that Christine was pregnant with our first child. We'd been longing to have children for ages, but I still could not get the desert idea out of my head, so we decided I should go for it anyway. I was scared because the Taklamakan is the second biggest sandy desert in the world. Sometimes it translated as, he who goes in doesn't come out. Sometimes it's just called the desert of death. 